Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're going to be testing specific hardware on a specific game. So the game we're going to be testing is a very popular game and goes by the title Fortnite. So you definitely know this game. It's kind of like PUBG but it is free and it is very popular. So because of popular demand I'm going to be testing some very budget hardware and actually the CPU we're going with is the i3-2100 and the graphics card is the GTX 1050 so let's get started so guys uh, as you probably already know Fortnite is not a very very demanding game but its popularity has led me to want to do benchmarks on this CPU and this graphics card but I know that the GTX 1050 is a quite quite powerful graphics card and is going to be uh, very uh, capable of running this game at high frame rates but I want to test out more the CPU side of things because this CPU the i3-2100 is a dual core four threaded processor and it came back it, it came out back in 2011 which is a very long time ago and you can buy one of these used for around 20 to 25 bucks and I want to test out and see if it is worth it because if it is then it is going to be a very good option for budget systems so let's get into the benchmarks it's gonna get so much louder Now we're here to take control Over your body and over your soul We're gonna take back everything So as you can see guys Even though, even though this CPU is so old uh, It is still capable of running this game at max settings uh, At 1080p And it did an extremely good job at keeping up with our graphics card. So, in conclusion, guys, if you can find this CPU for around twenty to thirty dollars, I would definitely recommend you to buy one because H61 motherboards are also very cheap, and you can find one for a very good price. By the way, this CPU is paired with eight gigabytes of RAM, uh, and uh, this is pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did. Make sure to click the like button below and subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you guys all in the next one.